what he hears and the decision that Dante will take as a palliative at least or a remedy to his exile is writing. The writing of the poem becomes the act by which he as an exilic, uh, as an exile, can go on and in his dislocation, his utter dislocation from the city, from family, from his habits, can go on actually relating himself to the world. Writing, the work, is the way in which the self enters history and can shape history. It's not Aeneas, it's not Phaeton, it's not going to be uh, the Hippolytus, it's not even Cacciaguida's own account of his own grandiloquent connection with the world of history. The way in which the Dante self enters history is through this idea of, of poetry, of a writing that is now also described in terms of food, as you can see here. First of all, with the, the bitter herbs, and now the voice is given a first taste. It will afterwards leave vital nourishment when it is digested, uh, etc. cetera. Uh, words, words, first of all, let me just clear the air here. No one, no one of you has this misconceptions about poetic language that somehow it's uh, some sort of faint, uh, symbol divorced from reality. Dante goes beyond this idea of uh, the relationship of language to representation. That was the problem of the Chronicles. And they gave fa fairly faithful accounts, and he can give fairly faithful accounts. That, that, that's the mode of a certain historiography. What Dante is saying is that words are things in themselves, that words, words are food that change, and being things, they have a kind of solidity and have a sort of truth value in and of themselves. This is really the biblical language that resurfaces. You know, son of man, eat the book. You remember these lines from, say, Ezekiel? This is the, exactly the kind of language that is returning here, and which Dante bends, this sort of language, to define himself in relationship to his future project of writing the poem, and that project of writing the poem is his way of establishing his place, literally, in, which is a utopian place, in history. I say utopian because it doesn't have to be understood in any local sense. You know, so uh, I do not belong, I do not belong to the city only because I occupy a particular place in the city. Uh, it is the act of writing poetry. That's really what matters. What I'm referring to is also a and here I end, a sort of correction, very mild correction, of the classical idea, which, which is also medieval, has, uh, survives in medieval times, the idea that the self is decided, the value of the self is decided by the place one occupies within the economy of the city. Dante says that's not the way it works. I am the project of writing my poetry, and through poetry, which is written in exile, and therefore it's a poetry of exile, I can re-enter the world of history. Uh, the world of history, accusing history, and talking as a man who has been touched by the vision of uh, what justice ought to be.